spicy and yeah. rude today <laughs> i mean i'm working on the three hours of sleep listen i'm i'm here for it let her feel how she feel because 2020 has given us plenty of reasons to just say okay i mean tact and cooth really really oh, do they we don't matter anymore? there's zero there's zero point who am i going to show that i have cooth to my wall I can practice for when outside opens, but I feel as though that's a waste of talent. I don't feel yeah. like she said anything that was inappropriate. I mean, she ain't said no lies. But, uh... <laughs> Go ahead. It's a conversation. <laughs> I'm just I'm over. Yeah. I'm over yeah. it. Yeah. I tell you. I was telling Toya, free ghetto on like adulthood is ghetto. Honestly. Yeah, no one actively prepared us. They told us that like some things were going to be inconveniences for our adult life, but it's a setup. And yeah, and setup. Don't be rushing it because y'all. Yeah, don't rush it. But there's no other alternative, though. It's not like you could skip, like, you can't be a child and then skip adulthood. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, like, with us, we grew up and we were just so hyped to get you know, get a job and have a car and drive this and drive that and just go, go, go. Or we really didn't, or at least I could, I did. Like I didn't enjoy and do anything. Granted, I live in a strict household. So that's part Same. of it. I was about to say, what was you going to enjoy? Like what? I was <laughs> regular child. I things. had a whole child and still had a curfew. So yeah, no. I, that, that never made sense to me. Now that I think about it, I need answers. I mean, and they were right. Nothing happens great after 2 a.m. Plenty of great things happen. Plenty of great things happen after 2 a.m. I don't maybe know the, which maybe news is talking about. <laughs> at that point, I had a kid, and they were like, that was what happened at 2 a.m. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, you don't need to be out. I mean, now I'm tired. I can't make it past 2. <sighs> Comatose in the corner. Just prop me up somewhere and put my sunglasses Cut on. Cut it out. Stop <laughs> aging yourself so much. You'll be fine. Just get a second wind and right, get a Red Bull. go for it. I don't like yeah. Red Bull. So Jump back out there. It's plenty of things we don't like. Like, nobody really, really likes the taste of, like, just straight vodka, but it's not like you never I had do. straight vodka. So you just jam that Red Bull and get your life. Like, just open I it up and chug it. That's what she said. <laughs> Don't make me start quoting Corey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that little dangly thing. Thing in the back of my throat. <laughs> y'all, I don't have one. I never told y'all that story. I don't have a uvula. You don't? I had one. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. It's mm-hmm. called a uvula. It's not called a dangly thing. It's called a uvula. <laughs> um, I had one, of course, because I'm a human being. But um, somewhere in my late teens, yeah, late teens, I think I was. Yeah, I wasn't a grown up yet. Like, um, I you know how you get the Jolly Rancher candy. Yeah. And most people, you have an option. You can suck on the candy or you can bite the candy. So I bit it and I'm chomping away and I I swallowed too quick and it cut my uvula. So I don't have a I didn't even know that was a thing, but now people are really gonna be sliding in your DMs. Please don't. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I said vacancy. They said open back. <laughs> This is, that's that's the thing that gives you the um the gas. The gas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I'm going to say it. <laughs> New conversation. <laughs> you got to buy sprays for that. And you <laughs> she just out here living the good life. Oh my <laughs> gosh. This is a you whole know, environment. You know, people are going to be like, yo, how do I get that model? <laughs> Just saying. These ones on the shelves, they come with the uvula. We don't want them. <laughs> with the uvula list one. <laughs> right. Uvula free. I want to get the upgraded model. <laughs> Give me that Toya. Not the Becky. Give me that Toya. Stay away from me. <laughs> so oh annoying. my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, that was a good start. It right. was. <laughs> Lord. I'm sorry. Sorry, Toya. I didn't mean to come and. It's you know, perfectly you fine. Love and the lack thereof. <laughs> I know. But if you do get any comments, please let me know. And we can. Where they going to find me? <laughs> Where they going to find me? You know I'm on hiatus. Y'all can very still very come true. to the Black Effect you, page. Yeah. We'll let filter it for you. Like her. I don't weird. need to be liked. I am perfectly fine. Everybody relax. <laughs> Everybody relax. 
I don't know. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, we can just go ahead and jump into it since yeah. uh, everybody else already jumping into things. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm going to let you live. So, hey, fam. Welcome to the Black Effect Podcast, where we discuss how Black culture affects society and how society affects us. We are your hosts for this bi-weekly conversation uh, that is long overdue, because I'm sure you missed us since we weren't here last week. This is Shanice. Hey, it's Jennifer. I'm Latoya. Um, yeah. So we caught up. You're but, Latoya today. I like uh, that. Yeah, that's my name. <laughs> so the past week, how's everybody been? Good? It's been good. It's been yeah. mad rainy every yeah. day. So yeah, I we survived like tornadoes. We did. It got a little ugly out there for a while. Very. Right. And Very she needs to play me because she knows my <laughs> My fear of tornadoes, and I don't play when my phone goes off with that purge siren. I know it's time for me to go. She's so by dramatic. the window taking a boomerang, talking about. I know Jennifer in the basement. Layla and I had, had just got in the basement. <laughs> You're damn right. We. <laughs> I was on the steps. My dad just had his knee replacement, so I made him sit in the kitchen close to me, away from the windows, so I can get to him because I can't carry him on back. She mm-hmm. don't gotta be that dramatic. That's but a lot. So I mean, funny. we got a tornado warning too, and I just sat down and kept doing what I was doing. Oh. Um, <laughs> correct. <laughs> well, <laughs> my desk faces a window, which is right near the tree. So it's mine. Um, from Pocahontas. So I don't. I, I didn't have time for that. And then it touched down in Middletown, which is what five minutes, ten minutes up the road. Mm-mm. That's too close. That is true. I did see some of the damage in lower Delaware and there were like houses blown off, like no roof, no side of the house. I said, what the? But yeah. I was glad that it was I just some rain toilet. and some knocked over trash cans here. And I just stayed yeah. in the house. Mind that was the extent of my issues too. I was, And it was trash day. So I was like, it's trash everywhere. So I had to, <laughs> well, I, I sent out the teenager to do that. I was like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you gotta go outside. that's crazy go clean that up (laughs) yeah no that's it nothing exciting we're still all quarantining ish i had something exciting happen a couple of exciting things but i'm only going to share one um because i don't know (laughs) y'all see i thought i was going to leave that in season one no um, <laughs> no, but I, I started going back into the office this week. I go in for two days. Um, I go in on Wednesday and Thursday. And mm-hmm. I know we discussed, I don't know how far we went into the discussion, but my office is a little ways away, which it works. It's fine. My commute was fine. I, I mean, I listened to podcasts and music and I was there. Um, I've missed driving. I've missed putting on clothes. I've missed putting on shoes and being around people. And it wasn't even a lot of people there. It was just from my team. It was just me and my admin. But my director wasn't there. The other team members weren't there. Some some folks come in on Tuesday and mon- Monday and Tuesday, and the other folks aren't coming in at all from my team because they have you know underlying health issues. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of other departments in there. It was cool. Um, yeah. So that is life. I'm fine with it because if there is a second wave coming and an additional lockdown, I'm gonna need this time. Cause if uh-huh. if I was just stuck in here for like a whole year and some change, yeah, uh, no, that ain't gonna work for me. So, yeah, sometimes that's I do miss commuting because that's yeah. when I get to listen to yes. all the unedited music that I want. Girl, that was when music. I finally listened to WAP. I hadn't listened to it until Wednesday morning. I, I, wanna, I like to listen yeah. to tap in unedited. Okay, yeah, I need all of that, sweetie. Anything, sweetie. Like, we talked about her. So we didn't gonna have to listen. We talked about her last episode, too. Yeah. That young lady is doing things, and I appreciate it. <laughs> okay? Yeah, commuting is, is fun from that perspective. But no, I'm still home until the foreseeable future. I don't know what's going to happen. So I ain't complaining because yeah. we got notification that everyone is staying home this year. 
Okay. Uh, so no one's going back into school, at least for the first six weeks. So mm-hmm. being home, uh, I appreciate right now. Yeah. Okay. We got confirmation that we're not going back until the end of January 2021. Wow. So I'm going to invest in the new chair because this was only my once a week chair because I only worked from home once a week and this is not working Mm-mm. for me. So I need to upgrade because I only I thought I was going to literally go back to work maybe September and I didn't have to get a chair. No. Mm-hmm. It's messing up my sciatica. Oh my God. We're just ah! open for talk. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I was like, I think I'm getting the gout sitting here. I can't. She just named it all. I am. I'm naming all the, I'm naming all the things all that the problems I don't know what wow. it feels like, but I feel like I'm getting it because I never had it before. I can't. Just get up and stretch Please. and walk around. Do some yoga in the morning before you start sitting down. Stretch it all out. Yeah. Get the blood flowing and you'll be fine. Meanwhile, my grandmother turned 78. Ooh. this week and she's like i called her i was like so what'd you do she's like um we went to the casino and we ran up the road and did this and saw this i'm like girl sit your ass down <laughs> <No>. <laughs> people love the casino. that's my lady though she's so bomb she is just she started gossiping and it was her her version of gossip is very fun because she's she she likes she's very much like you know i don't like to pass, pass blame on folks so i mm-hmm. think that's where i get it from she was like, such and such did this, that, and the other. And I don't know, but I get why she would do that. Yeah, because you know her grandmother and her mother, they did the same. I'm like, Lord, now I know they dirt too. <laughs> I don't know these people. Uh, a whole lineage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which go. goes into oh, generation. Topic. Yeah. Well, yes. yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> like this is your bring it bullhorn moment. Like, <laughs> I got that on Look at Toya leading us right in. Oh. So we can move into our candidly culture topic. Uh, and this week, we really want to get into generational wealth. I know that we all hear about it a lot. But I think we really want to try to understand what does that actually mean? And what does it look like what does it feel like how does it look different the way that we're doing it now from the way that our parents did it um so jen is going to kick us off yep i am so today we are going to talk about money which i mean i know you should not love money but it definitely <laughs> does make my I love it around love it I'm, I'm just saying this so jesus would like me today um <laughs> We should not. He knows your heart. He knows my heart and he gets my ties, which is money. Um, So <laughs> the three of us, we all have some type or have touched some type of financial um, background, whether it is professionally or via, like we were talking earlier, this ghetto thing called adulthood. We mm-hmm. handle our finances. We like our money. We handle our money well. Um, But I really want us to hone in on the two words. Like you said, generational wealth. So I wanted to start off with the definition. Um, because I like facts. I like numbers. Um, Generational wealth is wealth that is passed down from one generation to another. And this is through the accumulation of assets for the future to provide for financial security. Now, for those who are not as financially literate as most, um, an asset, what is that? So an asset is anything that you can own or control to produce value that is held by economic entities that could be produce that could produce positive economic value so that's your house that's your car that's land that's stocks and bonds anything that has some type of value the gold so if you got gold teeth hold on to them because they might have some i'm not some value. i don't <laughs> I mean, agree you never i don't know. agree with that you at all oh <laughs> look you never know. You can go to the little five shows and they'd be like, you know what? I know you paid only twenty dollars for them, but today it's like worth twenty five. What you gonna do? That's well, that's a five dollar profit. Don't be having these people in the porn shop. Stop. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> what if that was their seed they needed to sow in order to get that generational wealth popping? You, know you never know. And you can go and look back and say it all started with a tooth. But anyway, so <laughs> So simply put, it's mommy and daddy's money. It's grandma's money. It's granddaddy's m- money. So, the sh- but however, this shit was not meant for for us. Okay, most of the time when you hear mommy and daddy's money, you think of those who look like the inside of your palm, shall we say? Um, and really, we have to 